Don't know where we're getting off, but we're going on. We're back, another Monday. It's gonna be a big one this week, mainly because first thing this morning, I need to push a whole lot of new code. That being, we've got brand new V2 dashboard update, which looks super sick by the way, but that's not gonna move the needle. We're gonna to move to a tiered pricing model. Oh. oh my gosh. We're gonna be moving to a tiered. I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. I don't know if you guys remember, but in New York, I was based out of the Antler office. They kind of got me started with my pre-seed. I'm actually gonna go hit up the London team, meet those guys, so that'll be cool. Have a few more connects in the London area. But otherwise, we've got a ton of meetings today. This afternoon is stacked back to back, mainly just like creator onboarding stuff. A couple more VC meetings as well. Check out this spot, unreal. They actually closed this bridge the other day, and I got to run across it. Okay, so the reality of being a, uh, a tech founder is it's not actually all polished and pretty. And I know a lot of people on YouTube wanna make you think that it's like, wow, I just code and millions of dollars come in. It's not the case. We do have a big list this week of what needs to be done. We've got a other DMARC record into Resend. I'll try and book another meeting with George, who I met last week. Define scope for marketplace. So I know it's a little bit early and preemptive. I think it could be helpful if we sit down and think about what is the sickest version of that marketplace. You can like go in and it's like marketing, female, between this age and this age. Yeah, like you're able to filter right down and then inside it's almost like they've got like a Tinder bio. So it's got like, photos from, from what's going on. They've got like a video that you can see. There's like customer case studies or reviews. There's sneak peeks into it somehow, I don't know. Ship new pricing, which is what we we're just talking about, plus the new email notifications. People need to know when they need to upgrade. Um, ship the users tab. I also need to do a WhatsApp onboarding video. There was that LinkedIn WhatsApp onboarding video we could do as well. Dev Club's been going mad. We've got heaps of new users. We've even got like UI UX guys like flooding in now as well. Okay, cool. So that's like a lot of good, good stuff to do, I think. Yeah. All right, so this is the existing dashboard. And as you can see, very stock standard. Like we've got the design tab, we've got the connections, we've got the pricing tiers, we've got the analytics, we've got the forms, we've got all the stuff. And that's really cool, but Here's what the new dashboard looks like. So have a look at this. That's the old one. New one, instantly. Everything just gets a lot cleaner, a lot just more sleek. You can see the nice, beautiful, big sub SVG in the top corner as well. And then there's also this new, very, very interesting tab. You are on Pro. And essentially now it's a tiered system. So if we've got upgrade, we have a look at this. We've got all these different plans here you can choose from. One click upgrade. Boom. And instantly, that just pro-routed that user up onto the 129. So even if you'd done this one for like four days and then you exponentially grew your community and you can one-click upgrade, it's gonna pro-rate and you're only gonna pay the difference essentially in what you didn't use. So yeah, essentially, new pricing model about to slap. We're gonna be some of the only ones in the industry. You could, I mean, you could have, theoretically, on our free plan, 15 users paying a thousand bucks a month and you're still paying zero fees. That is insane tell me that isn't like full creator focused so anyway very, very exciting i'm gonna get this pushed the next thing that we need to get done which is critical mission critical is this users tab right here because this users tab is going to be everything from managing your existing customer subscriptions all the way to understanding who actually is inside your discord or slack or WhatsApp. It's also gonna be a place that you can actually manage the user subscription and their access to those platforms. So let's just say you've got a customer that can't get into Slack or they've done something wrong or they somehow expired with their token or something. You're gonna be able to like delegate and give them access again.
morning, I had a really, really interesting chat with a big, big creator from Sydney. She's got a very interesting use case where she currently has like 1,500 to 2,000 women between like 25 and 35, all incredible like marketing wizards. Now, one of the biggest things that she needs is having automation between sub the platform and any other CRM type platform. And this is something that I'm seeing across the board. We've got another creator on Slack as well. She runs like a real estate education Slack community. Really, really cool, I haven't actually jumped in. But anyway, her community is growing like hotcakes. Like every day that I look, there's like another 25, 30 people that have signed in and started paying. But once again, CRM, she needs the way to like automate and tag people in her system, in her custom CRM system from sub. And right now, the only way to do that is by doing a CSV. So what I'm gonna build is essentially like a Zapier endpoint automation where people can get triggers from anything such as like new purchases, purchase cancellations, I've just joined a Slack community or the Discord community, so that this can like update on their backend system and it just means sub isn't the bottleneck anymore, it means sub is like the end goal, it's the tool. And they can just focus on being like really good inside that community and providing value. Also, I forgot my AirPods, so sad. This is gonna be a super interesting flow. This is the entire new pricing model. You ready for this? Let's just go through and do the regular membership because we now have some interesting limits coming up with the emails that are sent based on the number of subscriptions that you have and the plan that you're subscribed to at this current point inside Sub. All right, so let's go ahead and purchase this $3 a month subscription right here. And this should hit us on the 15th customer subscription for this user, which is the final subscription that you can have on the free plan with Sub. So let's just do a demo email here. All right, let's process that. And we should get some super interesting stuff turning up right now. Here we go. New subscriber for Jacob's community. Okay, but there should be one more email though. Oh, would you look at that? New memberships are paused. Hey there, you've reached the member limit for your plan. It's time to upgrade. So if we actually go and head to that URL right now, we'll do it on the, on the browser here. Go into updates, new memberships are paused. We'll click here to upgrade now. And boom, we are thrown directly into this window. So let's just go ahead and upgrade. Actually, before we do that, let's go and check this UI out because I actually haven't showed you guys. Let's go back to the dashboard, check this out. You can now see down the bottom there, upgrade to pro, 15 out of 15 members. And this is just essentially pause their checkout. If you actually go, you can even see this little banner at the top, member limit reached, checkout disabled, upgrade now. It's gonna take you right here. But let's go and have a look what happens if a user now goes to the sub. Ooh, check back soon for this membership. So it's actually all worked just as I wanted. It's essentially pause the sub that we do give the sub creator like a heads up a few subscriptions ago so that they know okay it's going to pause soon uh, and they can upgrade in time but let's do the process of actually upgrading our subscription and seeing what happens all right here we go so let's have a look at this we can either click upgrade now right there or we can click it down the bottom here let's just click this one up the top upgrade now and we've got a couple of plans here. Let's just simply upgrade to the pro plan, which is gonna give us up to 100 members upgrade right now. Beautiful, it's already pre-filled some data. We'll type in the demo credit cards. And beautiful, that all went through. And as you can see, we are now on the pro plan, 15 out of 100 members. That now means that users can check out in my sub. So if I actually head back, paste that in, and would you look at that? Subscribe, $3 a month. So there you go, that is the full flow from warning the creator that their sub page is about to be paused, all the way to like sending emails, getting them to upgrade, once it upgrades, actually like doing the logic on the front end and ensuring subscribers can start resubscribing again. It's all good to go. So this just needs to be pushed into staging. I've already got 90% of it already there. I've been like slowly pushing stuff as I go, but it's looking good. I just need to do a double check of the PR just to make sure there's gonna be no kind of like crazy Prisma migration issues on production. We'll back up the database on production and hopefully we can get this pushed out tonight. All right, feeling pretty good. Let's go. Like the new version.
Well, another day dusted, done, done a Roonies. Feeling good though, I think we got a lot done. It's just so hot here in the UK. Everyone told me it was gonna be cold. So look, I'm absolutely freshed up, sickest outfits you could possibly imagine, but I'm sweating. I had a couple of VC introductions come in the email, so I better reply to them, you know? Are you a boomer? Why do you say that email? Look, I'm just, I, I, oh my gosh. This is chaos. Sounds like New York. This is what our competitors are going to look like in a year when we absolutely destroy them. This is what I'm building at Sub right now. A fortress, you know? The strongest fortress that can't fall over. MRR, very healthy churns, very low percentages, you know? Healthy team. I don't know. This is cool though. It's modern day medieval style, you know? You don't really get this in New York. Let's go. 